there's no easy games however you're going to play is it? no not at all you you send Leeds going away to Huddersfield last week to to win the trophy you know it's none of the games are going to be easy they're all going to be tough and there's no tougher place than Headingley and in our eyes anyway you know it's a, it's a difficult spot to go but I really enjoy it you know it's I love the atmosphere there and the pitch is always good and I used to love playing there you know the atmosphere was great and I got a bit of abuse hurled at me a few times, but you know it was all in the, all in the fun of the game. But no, I, I love going to Headingley. You know, I really love it. And we've been there twice this year. We've lost one and we've won one. So you know, we've got strike rates not too bad. And I think we're going in with a little bit of confidence. And as our leads, and it's going to be a typical semi-final game. It's whoever wins on the night will definitely deserve it. You went there a few weeks ago and got the win. Will you be taking obviously good thoughts out of that one and trying to just? Oh, that game won't count for anything, you know. It's they were missing Watkins, Hardacre, Rob Burrow, you know, great players who, you know, all international quality players. So we know what they'd give the side. So we're not deluded. We we know we're expecting a real tough lead side that are going to come out and play, you know, and and, and feels right leads off, and and I'm, I'm I'm pleased for Leeds that they won the trophy, and you know, said to Mark, I'm really pleased that you've got it. And, because everybody was quick to throw them under the bus and, and written them off and, and Leeds just don't suffer feels gladly, you know, they've they've just kicked on and, and they've done what they've had to do and they've won that second trophy and, and they want to win the third one. They, you know, they're a great side and they're sort of a once in a lifetime side, you know, with the with the for, with the force that they've got throughout the team and how formidable they are. So they're a tough team to play against, tough team to defend against. So we've got to be on our money and we've got to keep turning up for each other, but we're not a bad side ourselves on our day. People talking about Wigan, they're talking about Leeds. Maybe are they overlooking your boys? Do you feel? Oh, we don't mind. We we always we always do well in adversity, and that's that's what we're renowned for doing. And you know, I've got a, a bunch of resilient players who want to do well this year, and doesn't mean that we're going to do well, but we want to do well, and we you know we want to do great things as a club. So we're going to fight for everything we can on Friday night, and if that comes off and we do well, then we'll, we'll get what we deserve. What's it like being a coach going into the playoffs as opposed to a player? Uh, I'd much rather be a player. You know, you can go out there and, uh, and have some influence on a game, but I quite enjoy the coaching side of it. You know, I enjoy picking my wits against some great coaches in the competition, and you know, I've got a great squad to work with, and they're all you know, a good bunch of professionals, so I enjoy that. Everyone says front rowers are daft, but yet the four coaches are all front rowers. <laughs> yeah. Are people getting the wrong end of the stick? Probably, yeah, yeah. We, we're all we're all okay. We're not too bad, not too bad. I think we've all got good support staff as well. And looking at it, I mean, it, it, what have you made of the competition, Kieran, this year? I really enjoyed the Super 8 and you know, and that's regardless of how well we did in it. You know, after that semi-final against Leeds, and we lost that game, and it could have gone the other way, and everybody was tipping us for first place then. You know, and then we just crashed and burned, and we just wasn't, we didn't get over that hangover against that, you know, that great Leeds side on the day, and and it took us a while to build up and get the players back shooting again, and you know, and as soon as they were back shooting, they, they done really well. So the competition's been great, though. I think as as a spectator, as a neutral, you know, it's been great. And, you, know, you look at the game, the, the penultimate game to finish first on, on Friday night, you know, that typifies for me what this Super 8 has been all about, you know. They wasted some some fuel in that helicopter, didn't they? They did. Well, we didn't have to pay for it, so it's not a problem. Um, what, in, in respect to you, how, how are you looking ahead of, <coughs> ahead of the week or Thursday? Are you all fit and ready to go Friday, sorry? Yeah, you, we're, we're as fit as we will be for this time of year. And, you, you know, we're missing some really long-term players, which, which are good players for the club, but they're not going to be back this year. So we're, we're, we'll be as healthy as we possibly can be, you know. And we'll, we'll, we'll go there and we'll do our best, and, and hopefully things will come off for us. And just finally, as a coach, you feel you, you're obviously learning all the time, but is it, what's it been like as coach at St Helens? It's been, like I said before, it's been brilliant. I'm, I'm working with a great group of players who, who are the ultimate professionals, and you know, so committed to the cause, and you know, and they give me a lot of respect, and they sort of do what I ask them to do for the majority of the time, and they, and they work really hard with all the coaches in the squad. So. Yeah, it's it, it's been really good. I've enjoyed my first year. You know, as it goes, we've made two semi-finals, which is not bad going for me as a as a new coach. But you know, at Saints is we expect a little bit more than that, so we want to try and get some finals under our belt. I said finally, I've got one more. Alex Wormsley, what have you made of him? He's been phenomenal, phenomenal. It's you know, it's easy for me to say because he's one of my players, but for me, hands down, he's been up there with the top two front rows in the competition consistently for the year. And you know, I said he should be up for Man of Steel, which he is, and. And he should be playing for his country, which potentially he can do if he comes through injury free. So he's a pleasure to work with, you know, and he's always willing to learn. And he's become one of my real leaders in my side now. So it's great to work with Alex, and a lot of people love being around him too.